Hi, guys. Okay, everything in my house sleeps on its back. The dogs, the cat, the kid, they are all arms out, blankets off, mouth open, back sleepers. It's a flagrant display of confidence and security. I can't sleep like that. Our generation never had the self-esteem for back sleeping. We've got too much to fear. And I grew up in a country with bears. So I sleep <laughs> humbly cowering in the fetal position inside a fortress of pillows and duvets with a 500 mil water bottle between my boobs to keep them from switching places in the night. <laughs> Also, in case I get thirsty for the white wine that I fill it with. <laughs> Turns out side sleeping is the worst thing for your skin. It like crumples it. Oh, so let me get this straight. Catherine, you need your beauty sleep. Oh, and FYI, if you do it in the wrong position, you're gonna look like a bloodhound. <laughs> to do from men in show business wrinkles suggest character for the girls it suggests you're about to be put down <laughs> so I went to see a dermatologist she suggested I spend more time on my back I was like are you sure because my therapist said the exact opposite <laughs> What can I do? This is her plan. She's like, okay, we're gonna trick your skin into producing more collagen by heating it up with a very painful laser to make it think it's been in a fire. <laughs> because in 2017, it is better to look like a burn victim than a woman over 30. <laughs> I said, no, I said, I'm drawing the line. She's like, well, don't do that because you already look like an Etch-a-Sketch. Like, hey. No, I'm not tricking my skin. It is the only thing that has mercifully protected me from being viewed as the immigrant that I am in this country. <laughs> yeah, just kidding, totally got the laser. I got it, isn't it cute? I know. Can you tell? It hurt so much. It hurt more than I ever even expected. Oh my God, I passed out. So now I have smooth skin and PTSD. Thanks. <laughs> Catch me sleeping on my side, how about that? <laughs> yeah, oh, you know that, you know. Catch me outside, how about it? <laughs> Do you not know? I'm gonna change your life. Tell this to your grandchildren. Catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> A delinquent teenage girl has most recently become the most famous person in what's left of America by going on a daytime chat show where she threatened to fight the audience with a phrase more impenetrable than Shakespeare. <laughs> Cash me outside, how about it? <laughs> Here's how middle class I've become. I'm like, is she saying cashmere? Cashmere outside? <laughs> Not in this rain, love. She's 13. She's got six million Instagram followers. She has a weaponized honey boo-boo. She's gunny boo-boo. Pow, pow. <laughs> she earns 40K for a personal appearance. She's got a security team. She's featured in rap videos. She has sold enough tacky merchandise to pay the salaries of a generation of Chinese orphans. She is even flogging tea. Did you see this? This is genuinely her tea commercial. She's like, I ain't gonna ask you to drink this tea. <laughs> gonna tell you to drink it. I'm gonna straight up demand you drink this tea. How about that? <laughs> That's a child making an absolute monkey out of our monkey. <laughs> How can you teach a kid not to be disrespectful when disrespect earned her a stylist? How can you ground someone who's got her own driver? How can you take away TV privilege from the little dick that cleared your mortgage? <laughs> Look, Britain, look, they say that when America sneezes, Britain catches a cold. So keep your eyes peeled on Jeremy Kyle for the next few weeks. You see a teenager say something that even vaguely sounds like a catchphrase, you buy shares in it immediately. <laughs> and which political leader do you think she follows? Any guesses? Uh, no, nobody. She doesn't know anything about politics. She's an illiterate baby. <laughs> which makes her uniquely qualified to be the first female president of the United States. <laughs> Ask me again why I can't sleep on my back.